Hi everybody, it's Phil Strong here from How to Smash Your Mortgage. Welcome to my studio. Look, today what I want to uncover for you is the number one reason why many families are on track to end up with a 40 or even a 50 year mortgage. Now we don't want that to be you, so what I want to do is to get straight into uncovering the number one secret why many families are on track to end up with a 50 year mortgage. So why don't you join me? Now to do that what we have to do is understand very very quickly how it is that a mortgage works. So here we have a picture of a mortgage that is for $285,000 and this graph shows the repayment process over 25 years. So in this case what you'll notice with the blue line is that the graph moves down very slowly and what that means is that, see where I'm pointing here, your loan balance reduces very slowly at first and then speeds up as time moves on. Now the problem is most people stay up on this flat part here, which is why they never make progress. And how do they do that? You might be asking me, well I'm going to show you. But the first thing that you need to understand is, the reason why this progress is so slow, is because at the beginning of your mortgage, for every one dollar that you pay to the bank in mortgage payment, for every one dollar, only ten cents goes towards paying off the balance. That's right. At the beginning of your mortgage, out of every one dollar you pay, 90 cents out of the dollar goes in interest, and 10 cents goes into paying back your loan. And that may sound like a shocker, that make, may make you a bit angry like it did me when I discovered it, but that's the reality of how a mortgage works. And this is what hurts people so much, because let's look at a story about what happens that describes a typical family. This is a scary thing that seems to be handed down from generation to generation, and I hope today you're going to stop that. So here's what happens. Do you know what the average family does? The average family that owns a house, what they do every four years is they go out for a drive on the weekend, they get a little bit excited about a house they see, and they buy it. And so that's a good thing, of course, but you know, we upgrade, it. everyone wants a new house, so they upgrade the house, they sell their old house, but unfortunately they don't have enough money, cash, to pay for that house. So what they do is they go to their bank, and they say to their bank, hey, uh, we've bought a house, we need some more money, can you help us out? The bank manager says, mm, sure, that's what we do. And so they, they give them an increase to their mortgage. But now, the family can't afford to pay higher payments, so what they say to the bank is, can you please please help me, um, I need to keep my payments the same. And so this is what the bank does. The bank says, yes, look, we will give you more money. And what we'll do to help you out, to keep the payments the same, is we'll extend the term of the mortgage so that you can afford it. Now look here, people. What's happened is this family has ended up back on the flat part of the curve again, not making much progress with a much bigger mortgage. And guess what the average family does four years later, that's right, they go shopping again, and they find another house they like, and they buy it, and they sell their house that used to be their dream house, but they've got this new dream house, and they, they go to the bank and they say, hey, um, excuse me, we just bought another house, and the bank manager says, come and sit down, this is great news, and they help them by helping them to borrow more money. And they say, look, we can't afford this anymore. And the bank manager says, no problems. But what we'll do is we'll extend the term of the mortgage so that your payments stay the same. And look here, people. They've ended back up at the flat part of the graph again. And look down here. What was originally a 25-year term became a 35 and now 45-year mortgage. Did you know that many people are not buying their first home until they're 25 or even 30 years old. And what that means is if they end up with a 45 year mortgage, in this case, they're going to have their mortgage when they're 70 or 75 years old. And that's a shocker. And we don't want that to be you. So this is the number one reason why many families are on track to end up with a 40 or 50 year mortgage. And look, I hope that doesn't end up to be you. I hope I can help you to totally smash your mortgage. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Now's the time for action. Order your free DVD now. Join me on this 40 minute DVD as I take you through more reasons why you could end up with a 50 year mortgage and what you have to do to make sure that doesn't happen. Get your free DVD now.